Well, more than 4,800 employees at Canadian Pacific Railway went on strike today, putting the brakes on all freight deliveries on its 24,000 kilometres of track. It's all adding to the ongoing turmoil at the storied Canadian company. The CBC's Havard Gould is covering this. Havard. Peter, tonight CP is moving to lay off more than 2,000 non-striking workers as this dispute quickly escalates. CP's trains are parked, freight cars stranded. But a last minute deal ensured commuter trains near major cities would keep rolling. That leaves those who produce everything from cars to commodities, warning the consequences will be dire if the dispute drags on. Anytime the product uh, uh, stops, the money stops. And, and that hurts everybody in the, in the grain industry. We're a continuous operation. Um, you look at uh, Sudbury, Ontario or Thompson, Manitoba, they're, they're, they're mining, they're processing, they're shipping product out to market. We've always been a very reliable supplier of potash globally and, uh, and, and we don't want anything to damage that. The federal government, which has shown it has almost zero tolerance for transportation disruptions, is already signaling its impatience. It could cost the Canadian economy over half a billion dollars each week and could put the jobs of thousands of Canadians at risk. If CP and the union can't come up with a settlement, back to work legislation is expected when the House of Commons returns Monday. So I, I don't think that there'll be any dawdling on this. I think it'll be very, very quick. CP's troubles won't be over when the trains start moving again. The company is looking for a new president after an extraordinary shareholder revolt last week. A big American investor forced the last president out, along with several directors. It adds to the pressure on CP to improve results at a railway that has struggled to keep up with competitors. The reason, some believe, CP is determined to cut pension costs, a key issue in the dispute. They want to reduce our pensions by 40 percent, and uh, we feel that it's just too much. Uh, they want to devalue our pension. The stakes may keep rising. CP says there are even more layoffs ahead if the strike doesn't end soon, one way or another. Peter? In Toronto tonight, Havard Gould. Thank you, Havard.